Well, hello, friends. This is Tommy Oaks, and this is a story break. I have a very, very special guest with me on this story break. It's my wife, Patricia. She and I are going to share with you a story about another couple. And the story is called Get Up and Shut the Door. Here it goes. It happened one December night, and a dark night it was then, that an old wife, well now let me start all over again because she's not old, but this is about an old woman. So she's going to be playing an old woman, okay? Here we go again. We're going to start this story again. Get up and shut the door. It happened one December night, and a dark night it was then, when an old wife had puddings to make, she boiled them in the pan. The wind blew cold from north and south. It blew across the floor. The old man said to his wife, Get up and shut the door. My hands are in the pudding basin. Husband, can't you see? If it has to wait a hundred years, it won't be shut by me. They made a pact between the two. They made it firm and sure. The, the one who, who is the first, first to speak. speak. Gets, gets up, up and, and shuts, shuts the, the door. door. Two gentlemen came passing by at 12 o'clock that night. They couldn't see the house at all, no coal nor candlelight. They hit the house. May we come in? Is anyone there? They cried. And then they went in through the door, for no one had replied. First they ate the white puddings, then they ate the black. But never a word the old wife spoke, though she was hopping mad. Then one man said to the other man, Here now, take my knife. You cut off the old man's beard, and I will kiss his wife. But there's no water in the house. What shall we do then? You'll have to use the pudding water boiling in the pan. Then up sprang the old man. An angry man was he. What? Kiss my wife before my face and slop that muck on me. Then up sprang the old wife and gave three skips on the floor. Husband, you were the first to speak. Get up and shut the door. And that is the end of that. Thank you for coming to the story break. See you next time.